what is going on everybody welcome to your 47th objective c tutorial and in this tutorial we are finally going to get it right that enum program that i promised you guys in the last tutorial you know hopefully you watch my last tutorial or else you're probably going to be really confused in this one but anyways let's just go ahead and dive right into it let's go ahead and make our data type to store the days of the week and let's go ahead and have the user be able to enter monday tuesday wednesday thursday actually H for Thursday, forget about Tuesday, and Friday. So now we have a data type and the only values we can assign the variables are M, T, W, H, F for days of the week. But let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and set Monday equal to 1. And what this allows you to do is sets M equal to 1, T equal to 2, Wednesday equal to 3, and so on and so forth. So now you can kind of use them interchangeably. So now that we have a data type, which is kind of like a mini class once you think about it. Let's go ahead and make a blank variable. So enum day and make a variable called entry that the user is going to enter um, some information. Now entry, this variable, I mean we could go ahead and set it equal to, you know, Tuesday or zero right now, or not zero, four right now. But uh, we don't want to set it equal to anything. We want the user to do that. So right now entry is set to nothing. So let's go ahead and give the user a nice little prompt on the screen that says enter a number of day of the week. The most confusing instructions a user will ever enter the number of day of the week. What the heck? They're probably going to enter like 28th of February. But anyways, we know what's going on. That's all important. So now in order to have the user be able to assign a value to a variable, here's what you need to do scan f I think I told you guys this before but I can't remember and just go ahead and put percent i that means they're going to be entering an integer either 1 through 5 and we want to store that integer value in the variable entry so what scan f allows you to do if I didn't tell you guys before I may have allows the user to enter a number and it stores that number in the variable entry and these are pointers we'll be talking about those later on but that's the syntax for it don't forget that ampersand sign that's not a mistake so now entry is going to be equal to something after they get done with this let's say three or something so let's go ahead and do a switch and I think I told you guys this before I can't remember so we're going to test when we spell switch right we're going to test what number they entered and in our blocks, let's just go ahead and say, in case they entered one, it's going to treat it as an M. What do we want to do? Let's just ns log on the screen. Um, that day is Monday. Looks good. And then you want to break. I hope I told you guys about switch already. If not, then this is probably pretty confusing. But I'll walk you guys through it anyways. So if they enter one then entry is going to be equal to 1. So when it comes across case M, it's going to say, all right, M and 1 is the same thing, so this is true. So I'm going to print out this. So now all we have to do is the easy stuff. Copy this and do it four more times. Oops. And let's just go ahead and change this. Case T, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So today is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, make sure you spell it wrong, Thursday and Friday. And by default, if they enter something weird like X or something, make sure you spell that right. And by default, let's just go ahead and we won't even print out anything, just break it. So let's go ahead and run this program and if it works I'll tell you how it works and if it doesn't I'm just going to you know cry. We get an error here and it says I mean it's not an error it's just a warning so don't even worry about it. It's because this is an integer and this is a different data type but it's the same thing. We're smarter than the computer. So enter a number of the day of the week. Let's go ahead and enter 4 right here. You can see I entered it down here. Press enter and it says that day is Thursday so this is working like a beauty so how does this work we made our own data type called enum day now the user can pretty much m and one is the same thing that's what we pretty much said 
Wednesday and 3 is the same thing. Friday and 5 is the same thing. You can do this by setting them equal to integer values. So now if we have a blank variable called entry and they enter the number 3, it automatically knows that's the same thing as Wednesday. So then if you're testing what their variable is equal to and you come across 3, you're going to say, all right, I know that's the same thing as Wednesday, so I'm going to run this. So again, if we build and run this again, enter uh, day of the week, let's go ahead and press 3. It says that day is Wednesday. That is why it works. And that's the beauty of being able to create your own data types with the enum enumerated keyword. So, I mean, you don't really use this a whole lot unless you're, well, I mean, you don't really use it the whole lot. That's it. That's the end of explanation. But uh, if you ever come across it in programming and see this, um, you know what's going on. So again, hopefully I told you guys about scanf before and hopefully I told you guys about switch before I can't remember I'm at like 50 tutorials, but if I have it, then that's a quick little walkthrough of how those work So thank you guys for watching if you want any of this code because you know you probably don't want to type it out just go ahead click on the link below and It's all there free for you guys in my forum. So thanks for watching again Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later